Hello and welcome to my F122 driver career mode here today the part 53 for the Singapore Grand Prix where we will have a wet Grand Prix here today it's meant to dry up but we shall see what happens but at the minute it's very wet here it's a grid it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race Lando Norris put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he will start from pole position and it's Pierre Gasly in P2 looking down the rest of the grid we have Sainz, Leclerc George Russell, Brown, Verstappen, Magnussen, Sonoda, and Oscar Piastri, Albon, Ocon, Daniel Ticton, and Perez, Schwartzman, Joe, Fernando Alonso, and Lance Stroll, Mick Schumacher, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. That's earned us a decent pit stop time. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track.
Okay, watch your pace. We've been informed the safety car is out. So there appears to have been an issue with multiple stock vehicles on the track. conditions here in Singapore then to pull off a spectacular victory. <laughs> Natalie Pinkham, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out of the track was, the speed. It sounds like an awfully reductive statement, fast cars win races. We saw that today with our win. Winning drivers are on their way to the podium right now. It's been a fantastic race for McLaren, that's for sure. And no doubt, they'll be celebrating tonight. So that's been your Singapore Grand Prix, McLaren 1-2, McLaren back on top, we can win for P3, our third podium in a row, two third places in that time and a win, last time out at Monza, we just couldn't get Gasly, just spent the entire race, could not get close, we nearly got the gap down to under a second, and then the safety car came out, we were just stuck there staring at the McLaren, but anyway, we've gained some points on Verstappen in the championship. The gap now is 62 points and we're just two points off Charles Leclerc now. As we go into really the last sprint of the season, we go to Japan next. Circuit that hasn't traditionally been very good for me, but we have to make something of it. So really on a roll here, we are still quite a way off in terms of the constructors. Aston Martin and Alfa Romeo, the two teams that still yet to score. And that good result for McLaren has brought them a little bit closer to us but i think we're too far gone hopefully to for them to catch us and i hope you enjoyed the video for me it was a very very frustrating race just couldn't get anywhere near that mclaren and when we had the opportunity we didn't take it after the safety car um so we're going to japan next and hopefully we can maybe pick up another win we just need to keep doing what we're doing and maybe maybe the championship will come to us until the next race in japan goodbye